So the purpose of going through this problem, the Spotify Napster problem, which I pulled from a textbook and changed the name Napster because it was Rhapsody because in 2012 they were separate companies, but uh, they're merged and so I don't know why I'm explaining it. Anyway, um, I'm going through this because uh, the, this particular text, but almost every text out there um, has uh, gone th or has some step-by-step uh, -step procedure to go through and uh, this is as good as any other. Uh, so we're going to go through this process and see what um, we come up with uh, to answer this question. So let's, the first thing you knew, need to do is read the problem. And uh, I would tell you that many of uh, the students I've encountered don't, don't do this. They skip it. They try to pull numbers out and try to make sense of them and uh, it's not a good thing. And this should say each. So, uh, <clears throat> so let's read. Spotify and Napster are digital music streaming services. Of course, um, I use Spotify, but I also have other uh, services. In 2012, I know that's eons ago, Time Magazine reported that Spotify acquired seven, in seven business quarters the same number of users as Napster acquired in 11 years. So clearly, Spotify is grabbing users faster than Napster did in their 11 years of existence. Uh, Spotify's average user rate, average rate of user acquisition per quarter was 120,000 more than Napster's average rate per quarter. Find the average rate per user acquisition per quarter for each company. So if you look at this in here, um, it talks about read the problem carefully, focusing on the facts you are given and the unknown values you are asked to find. Look up any words you do not understand you may have to read the problem more than once until you understand exactly what you're being asked. So let's think about what's, what they're telling us here. Um, Spotify is grabbing users or acquiring users at a faster rate than um, Napster. In fact, 120,000 more per quarter than Napster. Well, what in the heck is a quarter? If you're not sure, um, a quarter, a business quarter, but a quarter of the year is what they're talking about. A quarter is, for instance, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this would be a quarter, that would be a quarter, that would be a quarter, that would be a quarter. Um, uh, it's not always done that way. They can chop up quarters any way they want in terms of uh, their fiscal year. So they don't have to start in January. They could start here and go every three months is a quarter. All right? Uh, in this case, that's not important information just uh, for your edification. So now, they want to know, the problem is asking, find the average user rate per user, excuse me, find the average rate per user acquisition per quarter for each company. So we want to know at what, at what rate is each of the companies, or in this case Napster, did they, past tense, uh, acquire users. So we've read the first and we want to figure out um, words that we don't know, for instance, like quarter. Uh, and you may have to read this more than once. Unid identify the unknown, step two. So what we don't know is the average rate per user acquisition for per quarter for each company. And that, in fact, is how what we need to find as well. Decide on a variable expression uh, that we're going to use and that may be something like uh, that would be something like um, pick a, a value n uh, and let that equal the uh, average rate per user acquisition per quarter that's, that seems awkward. I thought I typed it exactly the way it was, but it seems awkward. Um, if that were n, how can we relate that or write this information in terms of that variable? Well, if n is the rate at which Napster was acquiring users, and this says that Spotify's average rate was 120,000 more, wouldn't Spotify's be n plus 120,000? which equals Spotify's, this is Napster's, and this is Spotify's uh, rate per quarter, right? 
or users per quarter. Then we have to figure out, we can draw a sketch or make a table. We could do that down here if we wanted to. A table would look something like this possibly. Uh, Spotify, Napster, um, the rate, N plus 120,000. And then um, you'd have the time period, which for Spotify was seven quarters, and for Napster was 44 quarters. You could not keep be aware, you, you could put 11 in here, but that's a problem because that's 11 years and this is in quarters. You could then put 7 twelfths versus 11 if you wanted to, but these, but all of these have to be in the same units. Um, so, or it would be not so good. Seven, and if we multiply these values, uh, this, this number, we get that number, and this one we get 44. I have this wrong. I have this switched around, doofus. Um, let's grab this and pull this up here. Oops, didn't want to do that, but that's okay. Uh, I had the wrong values, right? Hopefully one of you guys picked it out, and I'm not going to go back and edit this. It's crazy. So and, and so this becomes... So let's do that again. This is 44N, and then this is 7 times N plus 120K, right? So uh, those values, how can we relate them? Well, back in the problem... They state that uh, Time Magazine reported that Spotify acquired in seven business quarters the same number of users Napster acquired in 11 years. So really they're saying that these two values are equivalent or the same. So that becomes the relationship that we need. To do any of these problems, do any math problems, you need to have relationships. How does something relate to another? So that's a key point and this is a key point. How do we relate? this or define this in terms of that or vice versa. So now that we have this equation or relationship, we can make an equation. N plus 120,000 equals 44N. Then we just do a little algebra, right? 7 times N, 7 times 120K is 840 or so I'm led to believe. And then subtract 7N from both sides and I get 840K is equal to, what is that, 37? And then divide both sides by 37, and we get N, the rate at which Napster, average rate at which Napster acquired users as, uh, uh, sorry about that, 22703. And that would think that you were done because you solved the equation, but the question asked for both companies. So we have to figure out what this value is, which luckily it's just simple addition, and we get 142,703. And that's uh, average user acquisition per quarter. Same units up here. All right, that's it.